so welcome back students to one more session of your alkyne chapter so in the earlier video we have seen how is the addition reaction that is addition of hydrogen in the presence of linder's catalyst addition of hydrogen in the presence of nickel platinum palladium isn't it right now let us come back to the next concept that is electrophilic addition reactions of alkynes right so in electrophilic addition reactions of alkynes i'll be showing different types of uh, electrophiles that is addition of if i have to speak addition of uh, cl2 right uh, and in the presence of inert solvent that is carbon tetrachloride i'll be showing the addition of an electrophile that is uh, like if i take water or hx let us take hx in this hx i'll be showing you how is the uh, addition of the bromine and the hydrogen around the double bond right then after that i'll be showing the addition of hocl hypochlorous acid also so let's start with the first uh, thing that is addition of chlorine in the presence of as an electrophile in the presence of inert solvent right suppose let us uh, write the heading as addition of chlorine what should you remember here first important thing is this particular now, now i'm taking an acetylene okay that is where we are showing acetylene has one sigma and two pi bonds now what are we going to do i have to add chlorine around the double bond or around the triple bond so i am adding chlorine one cl here one cl for this i am using an inert solvent now see how many are there two terminal hydrogens are there this is one acidic hydrogen this is also one more acidic hydrogen two terminal so one chlorine goes and replaces this hydrogen and one more chlorine goes and replaces this hydrogen done yes but what is important here replacing hydrogen is important or breaking the bond is important here whenever you are seeing uh, addition reactions your concept should be more you should have more concentration in breaking the pi bond this pi bond and once the bond is broken you can add chlorines on either side right so there's a cleavage of the bond here one chlorine with cl this is where most of the students do mistake that's why i'm given both the options so what is the name of this compound this is one two dichloro see here one two dichloro what is the name of this compound ethene that is one one chlorine suppose if i take two chlorines here i'm taking the same acetylene okay and here i am introducing two chlorines how is this like this two cl2 so total are again inert solvent so four are there when four are there what will happen this bond is broken isn't it first bond is broken two cl's are added second bond is broken two cl's are added so you get compound cl2 hc okay ch cl2 okay let me write the other way also you can write you can write like this also this is cl2 ch ch cl2 both are the same like i just wrote or what is the name of this compound now hydrogen is still existing but the bond form here it has become a single bond isn't it right so name this compound 1 comma 1 1 comma 1 2 comma 2 2 comma 2 tetrachloro tetrachloroethane isn't it this is the compound so this is done with the first one so remember addition reactions in the presence of an electrophile in the presence of an inert solvent where the pi bond is broken and they are adding on either ends further suppose if you take more concentration of the uh, of the electrophile further the bond is broken here it was alkene here it has become alkane this is your reaction right so hope students it is clear now let's come back to the next type of uh, addition uh, reactions of that is your electrophilic addition reaction that is addition of hx right so where have we studied this hx we have studied hx in mark addition of hx in marconic of rule isn't it you remember in alkenes i have taught you marconic of addition now let's see how is this hx added so when i take addition of hx hydrogen halide done so this x can be here it can be cl it can be br it can be i also done so anything this so it can be hcl it can be hbr it can be hi also but what is important here in alkane molecules two molecules means here there are there is one sigma and two pi bonds right so whenever they're forming yes remember whenever you're adding hbr or hcl or um this one to the around the uh, triple bond 
what are you going to get you're going to get gem halides remember that you will be getting the final product as gem halides i am writing that the final product you will see what are gem halides final product is gem halides you should remember this so gem halides means what that means vicinal means if the halogen atom are present in two adjacent two separate carbon atoms gem halide means if the hal halogen atom are present in the same carbon let's see what it does let me take an example first example which i'm going to take is see here i'm going to take an alkyne in this way now i'm going to add hcl to this slow reaction so this pi bond breaks up and i'm going to get c double bond c because this is broken up right now right two one two three four see here now what do we have this h is there isn't it right h and cl also should add so c2 h5 here and your cl is here one hydrogen is already there and more hydrogen right now after this what is the uh, uh, like uh, uh, still the product is not formed we'll just further do now again hcl is introduced this is very slow further this goes and adds but here you have to be careful i said the final product is gem halides isn't it now there is a cleavage of the bond here there is still a double bond this also breaks up and what do i get i get c single bond observe carefully one hydrogen two hydrogens three hydrogens here this goes and adds here and cl goes and adds here so one two three c2h5 here cl here cl here now see here this group halogen is present in the same carbon isn't it so now this is called gem halide gem dihalide or gem dihalide so this is what i mentioned about whenever you are adding h x around the triple bond there is a formation of geminal halides or gem halides where both the halogens are present in the same carbon atom right now let us do one more reaction suppose if i take this is let me take this as example two suppose if i take this alkyne okay now i am introducing bromine the reaction is slow so this triple bond breaks up those this bromine goes and adds around uh, the listen c double bond c now make let us make so one way we have c2 h5 right so one bromine adds here one more bromine adds here and this is hydrogen further there is still a double bond i can further break it so again i'm introducing bromine and the reaction is slow now i said it's going to form which one gem dihalide so this bond also breaks up and it becomes c single bond c now you have to be careful one two three four five six this your ch c2h5 c2h5 is here only this hydrogen also is here now there are two bromines one br is here there is one more bromine also here now still i added two more bromines so that bromine adds here this bromine adds here isn't it so again it has formed see as i said it has formed gem halides bromine is present in the same carbon gem suppose if i take one more example let me take one more example example three if i take acetylene now i'm introducing iodine slow there is a triple bond this is breaks up and you can read c the bond c h here h here one i adds here one more i adds here okay yes so this this the reaction stops here only it will not proceed further now let us take uh i hope the concept is clear let me uh, take one more example for you all that is acetylene i have taken three combinations i have taken acetylene i have taken uh, this one also like uh, let me take uh, example of acetylene with hbr and show you let me go with the fourth example suppose if i take ethyne again the same acetylene i am going to use hbr 
HCl I've used, HBr also used, but acetylene I'm not used. Now what happens? I said this is going to this bond breaks up, becomes C double bond C, and this joins in this way. This is H here. This is Br here, right? So this is also H. This is also H. Correct? Yes. So let's see one, two, three, four. Now further, I'm introducing HBr to this. It's going to show Marconic of rule. The negative addendum adds to the carbon having this. So what do we get? We are going to get like uh, the this particular thing breaks up. Here both are equal. It, it has to go to the carbon having lesser number of hydrogens. Isn't it? So lesser number of hydrogens. Here this carbon has two hydrogens. But this carbon has only one hydrogen. So what do I get? I get this product as CH3 because this hydrogen goes here. Negative addendum goes here. Single bond. CH, Br and Br. Done. What is the name of this compound? This is called 11-dibromoethane. 11-dibromoethane. Done. 11-dibromoethane. Right. So, this is the compound. So, I hope the concept is clear, students. So, this is, the, this is how you are going to add. Now, next reaction. Let us see the addition of hypochlorous acid in my next video. Thank you for watching students. Hope this is clear. How did I add HCl, HBr, iodine around the double bond? That is your electrophilic addition reactions. Right. So let's come back and do the next type of electrophilic addition reactions. That is addition of HOCl. What is HOCl? It is nothing but hypochlorous acid. Hypochlorous acid. Right. So here we are seeing the electrophilic addition reactions, isn't it? Right. So first of all, let me uh, take an example and explain. Suppose if I have ethane, let me divide the page into two equal halves and let us take two examples. In the first example, I will be taking ethane. In the second example, I will be taking propyne. Done. So you can take any other or further examples also, not a problem. But important thing is and understanding what are the products formed. When I take ethyne or acetylene, first I am going to introduce or hypochlorous acid is introduced to this. So here I am going to reduce HOCl or chlorine in water. Okay, this is also done. So this is one sigma and two pi bonds, isn't it? There is a cleavage of the bond here. There is also cleavage of this pi bond. Yes. So what will happen? Cl adds to this carbon becomes a double bond. CHOH. Isn't it? Done. Now further, when this is introduced for the chlorine in water, what product do I get? I get a product this way. This still double bond. This breaks off. This adds. So what do we have? HOCl or this one. Again, there is a cleavage of the bond. So, to this carbon CH, now this has become single bond, isn't it? Single bond. The Cl is here, one Cl. Yes, one more Cl I am adding here, this one. On this side, we have OH, and one more OH we have added. This is very unstable in nature. What will happen? Finally, it forms a product. What product does it form? Just see, understand carefully. There is water here, hydrogen OH here and OH here. Because this is unstable, from this compound, water is eliminated. When water is eliminated, what product do I get? Cl, CH, single bond CH and CHO. This is perfect and water is eliminated. What is the name of this compound? It is dichloroacetaldehyde. Two carbons, isn't it? So let us write the name dichloroacetaldehyde now let us do the same process here here i am going to take propyne done to this propyne we are going to add hocl hocl so as soon as this is added there is a cleavage now what do i get i get CH is still there. Only you should concentrate more on this triple bond. Only pi bond is broken. This becomes C 
double bond CH. Now what are we going to add here? We said the negative addendum adds to the carbon having lesser number of hydrogens we said. Correct? Yes. Now this is a uh, here what it what happened? It is added because both are similar. We added in this way. But here HOCl whenever you are adding. Careful. This adds what breaks up and it adds in this way. Further, when I treat with one more HOCl, there is a cleavage of this bond also. And what do I get? Let's see H3, C, OH, and OH, and C, H. One more Cl here, one more Cl here, isn't it? This is broken, and this adds here to this, and this adds to this. Now, this is further unstable in nature. So what are we going to do? We are going to eliminate water from this as I have shown here. Same thing. Water eliminates from this. From where does the water eliminate? H from here and OH from here. Remember? H from here and OH from here eliminates. And what do I get? I get the final product as CH3 is here only. This becomes C double bond O. Then this becomes CHCl2. What is the name of this compound? This is 1, 1. Okay, this is we have to start it from 1, 2, 3. This is 1, 1 dichloro 3 carbon chain prop propanone. 1, 1 dichloro propanone. Isn't it? So here we have got an aldehyde. Here we have got a ketone. So 1, 1 dichloro propanone is here and dichloro acetaldehyde is here because of the lack of space I am not able to write it here. Understand students? Once again whenever hypochlorous acid adds first it is going to form or break the bond, break the pi bond and adds on either way. Further if you had you get a product like this which is unstable. Further there is elimination of water molecule forming acetaldehyde. Here there is further elimination of water forming what is the name of this compound? It is 1 1 1 1 dichloro proponone 1 2 3 1 1 dichloro proponone. Done? Right. So, thank you for watching, students. Let us come back and meet with nucleophilic addition reactions of alkynes.